We're back here at Wanamaker's Tulsa Arms Show. I'm with Jim Sapika, director of the National Firearms Museum. And Jim, you, you've been busy again out finding treasures and you, you've got your friend Dan Cole back here. Dan's got so much stuff, we had to bring him back. So what do we have now? He had some cool Smith & Wessons and some ones that I, I love and I asked him if we could take a look at them. This is the Smith & this is a Smith & Wesson new model number three. Uh, the model three was Smith & Wesson's large frame size beginning in 1870 and continuing up to about the turn of the century. Uh, 1870, they introduced the American model, then the Russian model, then the Schofield model. And in 1878, they discontinued all of those for the new model number three. Now, this was a very successful revolver line. Actually, uh, there were more large frame Smith & Wessons made than Colt single action armies up until well into the 20th century. It's a top brake design. It works by lifting a latch. It opens. Cartridges are simultaneously ejected. Uh, the rear of the cylinder is open for a quick reload. It closes again. The vast majority of these were chambered for the 44 Russian cartridge, predecessor of the 44 Special. A very, very accurate uh, cartridge with a very uh, uh, adequate power level as well, very popular in the American West, and a very accurate revolver. It held all the uh, uh, target shooting records pretty much in that late 19th century period before we got into the swing out uh, right. cylinders yes. and the auto mm -hmm. pistols. But a very, very nice revolver. If you got a nice revolver with this, what's the one thing you can do to make it better? What? what? <laughs> you make it into a rifle. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wow. This is a rare gun. It's the Smith & Wesson 320 revolving rifle. Mm -hmm. Smith & Wesson made fewer of a thousand of these. But as you can see, it's based on the new model number three. It's right. essentially the same, uh, same frame, mm -hmm. same cylinder. They made it with a longer barrel with a little uh, hard rubber forend right there, gutta percha forend, uh, mottled orange, and they made it in three barrel lengths, 16, 18, and 20. Do you know which one this is? It looks like it might be 20. I believe it is the 20, Jim. Okay, mm -hmm. and it has the detachable buttstock. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it, it comes very off cool. very easily, mm -hmm. uh, but a very, cool, uh, a very cool design, but uh, not very popular. Uh, and one of the reasons that you have a problem with any revolving rifle design is the fact there's the detachable stock. Right. But the uh, fact when you're firing one of these, mm -hmm. if you hold it by the forend, mm -hmm. with a revolver you always have a little bit of blow by of, of powder and lead oh, particles mm -hmm. that shave when that right. bullet goes through the forcing mm -hmm. cones. And so uh, uh, you'd hold this braced against your shoulder like that. Uh, or else you'd wear a very heavy gauntlet and hope uh, nothing big enough to penetrate the gauntlet mm -hmm. got through it. But revolving rifles never really caught on, so this really wasn't a market success. It took a, uh, a proprietary cartridge, the 320 revolving rifle cartridge. Uh, as you can see, it's the full length of the cylinder, and the lead bullet is loaded all the way down into the uh, uh, cartridge. This is really the only firearm that was ever chambered for it. Uh, but uh, uh, an elegant looking gun, an unusual looking gun, but one that never really caught on, uh, but part of the great Smith & Wesson Model 3 product line. Which we find out, Jim, when you have something like this, once again, that probably on paper look good and looks great, it makes for a better collector's piece when it really doesn't catch on, because yeah. there's so few yeah. of them yeah, out there. Very rare mm -hmm. and very unusual. Dan, do you have an estimate for what that'll You know, that Jim, option? I think uh, that one is estimated at between fifteen and 20000 Yeah, yeah, and that's, uh, that's a range that really nice revolving mm -hmm. rifles sell for. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's very realistic. Uh, and beautiful new model number three as well. I appreciate getting to see those. Okay. You know I love that. That's my favorite you model. Bet, you bet, you so, bet. Well, Dan, really Jim, thank you for it. another you. great segment of the Curator's Corner right here from the Tulsa Arms Show.